Hello and welcome to the Fusion Podcast. My name is Brent Colby. And I'm Stephen Salmon, just like the fish. Today we are talking about preaching to kids. That's right, also known as children. And today our show is not brought to you by a guy we like to call Tim Hawkins in his DVD series. Push, pull, point, pow. You can see here that this DVD is not available for resale. So if you'd like it, leave a comment below and we'd love to give it to you. Thanks, Tim. Let's get started today with uh, something awesome. I, you got something awesome for us today, Brent. I do have something awesome. I was scanning the internet today and I ran across oh, a gentleman got. whose name was Okuda San Miguel. That's now, awesome. Okuda, which is already awesome yeah. enough. His, na his yeah. name is, we can leave it there. His name is awesome. Right. He's kind of a famous muralist and he's painted all sorts of murals around the world. Kind of this hipster dude, but he did a specific project in Morocco where he totally revamped this church Only in Morocco. Only hipsters can, can paint like this. I could not pull it off myself, yeah. but as you can see, some of these cool pictures of the church, it's vibrant, it's colorful, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I think, cool. uh, I, think cool. I think you guys should rock something like that here. You know what? We'll have to uh, give him a call. How about you call him? I will. Yeah. I'll look up. I'll look. Perfect. I'll look Thank up. you. Awesome. What's, what's the Moroccan area code? I don't know. I think it's more awesome if they actually have a church in Morocco. <laughs> but you know what? That is something awesome. But you know, what? let's get into it. Let's yeah. talk about talking to kids. So something we know a little bit about. A little bit about, and you preach to kids on a weekly basis. I do. When you get started to go, you're getting ready. You're getting geared up. You're getting pumped up. You're doing whatever you do. Where do you start when you ask yourself the question, like, how do I preach to kids? Where, where do you begin? Ooh, good question. Uh, you know what? Let me throw this question back on you, Brent. Okay. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? You've been doing this a little bit longer. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit younger than you, so. <laughs> a little you know, bit. Let's, let's, let's hear the sage wisdom. I think, I don't know if it's sage wisdom, but just starting with a big idea. Yeah. I think a lot cool. of times we'll focus on a cool prop or a cool illustration, but making sure, like, put the work in and get your big idea really narrowed down, really focused, really clear, because you'll always kind of call back to that. In fact, it's a good filter as you kind of flesh out the, the message. Um, if it doesn't relate kind or of illustrate. know what you're talking about. Yeah, it basically. lets you know what you're talking about. Yeah. The other thing is, once you have that done, it becomes easy to do, and that is preach for a response. Mm, Kids good. should be able to answer the question, so what? You know, I've just sat through listening to you talk 10, 20, maybe 30 minutes if you're awesome, right? And I'm super <laughs> yeah. compelled. Yeah, if you can <laughs> preach for 30 minutes and be compelling to kids, please write us a comment because I need what to take you, you out for coffee. And at the end of that message, however long it is, they should be able to answer the question, so what? And they should be able, we should ask them to respond. They really want to. So yeah. give them that opportunity and make it crystal clear and make sure the response isn't a hundred different things. Like pick a thing and have them respond to yeah, that. Yeah, one thing. response. That's good. So what do you do? What do you do to keep your messages interesting? You know, I, uh, I start with uh, write what you know and write what you're passionate about. So if okay. you're going to be writing this, pick some Bible stories that you know really well. So okay. go in there and kind of know what you're talking about and write what you're passionate about because those are things that are going to be the easiest to do. And then also in the whole preaching to kids and talking with kids, not all of it has to happen in your like message, in your talk. Like it can happen in other ways too. A great uh, uh, a way to get a story across to kids is, and Jesus used stories, he used parables, kept sure, it short, yep. and um, uh, is doing characters that connect. So building in a character, having someone in there who can kind of take the burden off of you a little bit, that can preach to the kids and kind of get this message, whatever you're doing, kind of across for you. Do a lot of the work for you, basically. Yeah, well, that's cool. So what are some, like when you develop characters, when you're trying to make that connection, what do you, how do you approach that? Oh man, the best characters uh, have uh, personality. They're believable. Sure. And, they, 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 and they're just kind of a little bit outrageous. Okay. Like, it's, either you're watching them, you're just like, okay, this is, this is like getting out. Of, and the kids love it. The more out of control, the better, because they just love seeing things kind of go awry, seeing it kind of get off okay. the kilter. So normal rule following mailman is not a good character? Probably not. He just you know delivers what? the mail and... I'm gonna drop some gold on you here, Brent. Okay. I'm glad all the people here watching, this is for you too. This is this is the, some uh, some some character goal. I, we've, we haven't done this in my in my ministry yet, okay. but I've been thinking about it. I've really flushed it out, so I've done all the hard work for so you. the gold you're giving us, you've not Would you let me get there? I'm <laughs> about to get there, okay? Oh, you know, this is what we're talking about. <laughs> know what you're talking about, Brent. <laughs> okay, I'm getting there. What type of gold this is, so oh, keep going. It's the best kind of gold, okay. 24 karat. Okay. This is like smushing your hand gold. It's called ugliest chair in the world. 
All right, so you get a chair, you put some wheels on it, or you don't even have to, you just be able to roll it out, or okay. even carry it out on the stage, and you have someone hidden somewhere with a microphone in their hand, and they're the chair's voice. You give this chair a voice, and you have this awesome character. The uglier the chair, the more beat up it is, the better. Someone has an ugly chair somewhere in your church, and they're willing to donate it to you. So the ugly, what does the ugly chair do? Does it just sit there? Or? No, 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 it talks. And what do we know about chairs? The chairs, you, you lose things in the cushions of chairs sure. all the time. Yep. And so you could have something hidden in there, whatever it is, your object lesson or, or something. And, and you go out and get, and it's like, it, the chair would be like, hey, what are you, what are you doing with messing around with my cushions? Yeah, get your hands out of there. What do you think this is? Is that your ugly chair Yeah, voice? yeah that, that's my, I kind of go to like the, the, like the, the bayou kind of like, it, it, well, it'd be really funny if you like pull out like a, fr of like a French fry, like a McDonald's French fry. You know, you're always finding those everywhere. Yeah, it's like, yeah. hey, wait, give me that. Hey, is that French fry? Give me that French fry. <laughs> I'm a little hungry. I want that French fry back. <laughs> and he gets that French fry and like, yeah, it's I really like... funny. It's something. Yeah, I'm following with you. Yeah, it's personality. And the more crazy you go, the funnier it is. Yeah. And the kids love it. We'd love to hear what you've done to keep your messages interesting, to draw kids in, to whether it's creating characters or having really good points or however you illustrate. We love to see it. Yeah. So if you've done something or if you're willing to try the ugliest chair in the world. Try it. It's awesome. No, it, trust me. Let us know how it goes in the comments below. That'd be really cool. Yeah. And as always, subscribe. Hit the big red button below us and uh, we'd love to connect with you. See you later. See ya.